this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn your PDF into a digital PDF by making it fillable using a free tool. This will allow your PDF to be interactive and your customer can use it on any device. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach you how to use online business tools to create and sell digital products to build a digital product business. So to join the boss tribe, all you have to do is hit subscribe. Creating a fillable PDF is great, especially when you are creating any type of workbook, worksheet, checklist, planner, or journal as a digital product to sell to your customers or as a lead magnet to build your email list. This process is super easy and is free to do. So let's go ahead and switch over to my computer screen so I can show you exactly how to do it. So the free tool that we're going to use is called PDF Escapes. Just type pdfescape.com into your web browser and it's going to bring you to the web page. To get started, just click on free online. Next, you would need to upload the PDF that you want to make fillable. So select upload PDF to PDF Escape and just upload or drag and drop your PDF. Once your PDF has been uploaded, it's going to bring you inside to the PDF Escape Editor. On the left hand side, you have a set of options that you can use to edit your PDF and you can also see the pages of your PDF. So to get started, we're going to select on Form Fill and this is going to give us several options on how we want to make our PDF fillable. So once you click on the drop down, you will see the option for text, text paragraph, checkbox, radio drop down, lift box, reset, and submit. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the first three options because these are the options that are commonly used for a digital product. So we're gonna select text and then select the select button. And all you would need to do is click and drag the section or the area that you want to make fillable. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, when you do this because after your box is created you can move it to a line exactly where you want it to be and you can also use these squares on the outer end corners to adjust the height or the size of your box once your box is created a toolbar will pop up at the top and this will allow you to edit your font so you can change the font style you can change the font size you can make your font bold or italic, and you can also change the color of your font. So for some additional editing options, you can right click your box and select object properties. And this will give you a few more options to edit your text. Like you can select a different type of alignment. So if you wanted to have it center or right align, you can do that. Um, I usually don't do any of these options. I just wanted to show you that it was available. So once you're done, you hit OK, and now you have your fillable section created. A great tip is that you can also right click that box and create a duplicate. And what this would do is create a copy of the box that you just created. This option is great, especially when you have a lot of fillable sections that you want to create. This will make the process easier and faster. So next I'm going to show you how to create a fillable checkbox. So let's go back to form field. Then we're going to select checkbox and hit select. And then again, we're going to just drag our mouse over the area that we want to create a checkbox for. Now, if you wanted to change the style of your checkbox, you can right click, select object properties, and then you will select check type. There's a drop down menu and it gives you a few options. So if you didn't want to use the check mark, you can use circle, cross, diamond, square, or star. And those options are available for you. And you just hit OK after you make your selection. So once you have your checkbox created, you want to right click, hit duplicate so you can create more checkbox areas. And as you can see, I'm just hitting duplicate and it makes the process much faster. Now, one more tip is that when you are creating checkboxes, you want to make sure that you uncheck the checkboxes. That way, once it is downloaded by the customer, the checkmarks are already filled in and they can fill them in as they need it. 
The next section that I'm going to show you how to create is a text paragraph. So we're going to go back over to form fill and this time we're going to select text paragraph and hit select and then just click and drag the area that we want to use as a text paragraph area. And this whole section will be fillable and allow the customer to type in. Now I do want to quickly mention the difference between the text option and the text paragraph option. The text option will allow the customer to continuously type in a single line whereas a text paragraph will allow the customer to type continuously as a paragraph and go on to the next line. I'm going to show you this when I show you the PDF at the end. Once you are done making all of your sections fillable, you want to go over to the left and you want to select the green icon to save and download your PDF. Now, another quick tip that I want to provide to you is that if you have a lot of sections that you are making fillable or you have a large PDF that you need to make fillable, you want to save as you go and you can do that by simply clicking on the blue floppy disk icon. So I'm going to hit save and download and I'm going to show you how this looks once it's open. So this is how the PDF looks with the fillable boxes. Every area that you see here with this bluish box means that that section is fillable and that the person can type or check into that area. So I'm just going to post a sentence here in the text area. And if I keep typing, it's just going to continue into that same line. It's not going to type over to the next line. I can also go ahead and check these boxes. You can see that works. And in this section, this is how the text paragraph would look. Okay, boss friends, so that is how you create a fillable PDF to turn it into a digital PDF. If you thought this tutorial was helpful and easy, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. And if you want to learn a few digital product ideas that you can create to start creating passive income, go ahead and check out the video that's on your screen. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.